Hey everybody, it's Dale and I'm coming to you from uh, behind the school over here in Matt, Georgia. And I've been spending a little bit of time over here because it is about to be the 1st of August and school is going to start. And I've seen some videos on the web that teachers are excited and kids are excited and there's a few mamas that are going to buy some yellow binders and they seem real excited too. Let me tell you who's real excited also nobody say anything about. Teacher spouses are excited. You know why? Something big's about to happen at our house. That's right, because at the end of the school year, about a week before school ends, you got to go in and help your teacher clear out her room so the janitors, excuse me, custodians can clean, paint, and wax, and do whatever it is they do all summer long to get that classroom sparkling, clean, and new looking for the little kids that's going to come in the following fall. About a week before school ends, you got to start going in there. You got to take out the furniture. You got to take things down off the walls. You got to put stuff in Rubbermaids. And the kids are still there. And I'm not trained to deal with that many kindergartners, 20-something of them. And they're like, Mr. Archer, Mr. Archer, what are you doing? Are you taking our ABCs? Mr. Archer, are you going to take that furniture home? Are you going to burn it? Are you going to have a fire? Mr. Archer, do you have a dog? Did you know that my kitten's having puppies? Have you ever had any kittens, Mr. Archer? Oh, you got to get past all that. You gotta get past all that. You gotta get all the stuff out of the classroom. You gotta take it home. And then you gotta do something with it. And you know what you do with it? You're gonna take it to your house and you gotta put it up somewhere until fall when school starts back. Well, I say fall, it's August now, but until August when school starts back. I put it in my garage. You know what that means? That means no parking in that spot in the garage for the whole summer. That means no working on no projects, no tearing down no motors, no parking no motorcycle over there. Nothing like that. If you got a carport, you're going to lose your carport for the summer. If you got a lawnmower shed, you're going to lose your lawnmower shed for the summer. Heck, I talked to a teacher the other day. Her and her spouse had to uh, put everything in the kitchen, in the corner of the kitchen, from the time school ended to the time school started back. That's ridiculous if you ask me. I'd get one of those rental storage things if I had to to keep all this stuff out of my house. I'm telling you, Rubbermaids to the ceiling. Stacked to the ceiling like Tetris. Then, about a week before school starts back, which was about four days ago, you got to start bringing all this stuff back to school. Take some time off work. Use weekend. It don't matter. You got to help your teacher spouse. You've got to bring this stuff back. And when you bring it back, it's got to be clean. And what I hate is steam cleaning or pressure washing these little foam mats that your kids do circle time on. Because whatever is on the bottom of their shoes, you know what one I'm talking about. They're like primary colors. Like blue, red, yellow, green, all of them. Because I don't know about that. Anyway, so... You've got to clean these things. They got this little black film foam yuck all over them. It's nasty. Whatever's on your kids' shoes, bubble gum, snot, dead grasshoppers, probably some boogers for the little kids that don't eat them. They probably wipe them on there. It's nasty. You got to pressure wash it off. So you get that all done. I had my daughters out there the other day. I was snapping them together in the driveway. We had a big old pressure washing party. When that was done, we had to get all those colored milk crates. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Teachers go to Target and buy them. And I don't know what they do with these things, but it looks like to me the little kids just take their leftovers of wherever they can when they're done. Because there's like black mold growing on some of these things with dust bunnies on top of them. I don't know what the little kids do to this, but it's horrible. Anyway, you get it all clean. You take it all back. You take it into the school you bring it in, you the other teacher spouses bring it in, all the teachers are standing around talking about their summer, you're like, honey, where's this go? I don't know, I ain't a teacher, I don't know where it goes. Like, over there, it'll be fine right there. No, it don't go right there, go back. I'm telling you what, first off, if your county or city's like mine, the air conditioning's not on yet. This is like hot yoga. I mean, you are smoked when you are doing this, you're sweating up a storm. This is Georgia in july and august come on folks turn the air conditioning on before we teacher spouses have to start working i ain't used to this secondly this stuff is heavy i mean it's heavy it is a workout it's like maybe it's like hot yoga and crossfit mixed except for crossfit my wife doesn't tell me where to put the weights back or if they're level or if that color goes next to this color all that stuff i don't know but anyway it is hard work so you get everything put back you get it set on the walls, you get it set out like your wife, your husband likes it in their classroom. 
but the first time's always wrong, so you got to do it again. Then you might have to do some wire management because I don't know what IT is thinking, but their wires for their technology looks like a spaghetti farm exploded, and nobody can stand that. But if you get it all done, it's worth it because these teachers are shaping the next generation of leaders. And guess what? You get your garage back. Well, except for till the end of next May, and then you don't got your garage no more. So shout out them teacher spouses. Y'all work hard. Keep doing it. God bless America.